are planning on hosting a 4th of July bash, we've got some expert help. Former Food Network host and entertaining expert Mark Silverstein joins us via satellite to share some of his top recipes and entertaining tips. Welcome, Mark, and I can see from your beautiful set, you've made everything red, white, and beautiful, and you can help us do that too. Exactly right. I mean, this is this is the party you want to host because there's already built in entertainment. You already have parades and fireworks you can, you know, sort of take credit for. Make it. I'm going to make it nice and easy. I'm going to give you some great twists on some Fourth of July classic recipes. You know what the key to a great party is, though? What? The food. Of course, the food is always, always the key to the group. You got to have a terrific spread, so you want to make sure you got plenty of supplies, plenty of food for everybody. I've partnered with some great brands to make your entertaining quick and easy, and yet your friends and your guests are going to be very impressed. All right, go for it, Mark. I want to see what you have there. All right, well, here is my secret, versatility. You want something that is great in the beginning, in the middle, in the end, something perfect, I start with cheese, all right? It's a great option to put out as a simple crowd-pleasing appetizer. It's also great on your burgers. My go-to is Costello cheese. Talk about the 4th of July, talk about a celebration. Well, check out these cheese boards. They are perfect for your get-together you put them out with some summer fruit and vegetables. Costello traditional Danish blue right here. It's great with some strawberries. You slice up the strawberries, you drizzle on some honey. The mature cheddar, it's a great choice for your, uh, your cheese board. It's delicious with peach, and I love this idea. Dip it in with some pesto. Oh, that's mm. fantastic. The Havarti, nice and smooth, it's creamy. It's perfect with some crisp summer vegetables like radishes or early season baby corn or baby uh, carrots uh, and some grainy mustard. And of course, Costello has the slices for your burgers. Delicious slices like a burger blue and the aged cheddar with cracked black pepper. It makes burgers extra special. That looks yummy, I must say. All right, Mark, how about if we continue on with like a, what do you got for a dazzling dessert? All right, I'm glad you asked that because I like to make my desserts nice and fun and festive. Also, something that's quick, that's easy, that's inexpensive, all my favorite words. The main ingredient right here, popcorn. Oh. This is so perfect for your 4th of July. Okay, it's, it's a crowd pleaser. It's a healthy whole grain. It's low in fat, in calories. It's non-GMO. It tastes great in its simplest form. You could just put it out with some seasoning on it, or you can make what's called like red hot poppers with uh, mini marshmallows and some uh, cinnamon candy. You melt it, or you melt some uh, white chocolate and you use some red and blue sprinkles. How's that for 4th of July? It's perfect. It is perfect. And plus, it gives you a little bit of that salty and uh, sweet taste, which I love. And the kids will love it. Right. Right. You can do salt and pepper. You can use some oregano, some, uh, some uh, garlic powder. There's so many different ways you can serve it. Everybody loves popcorn. Hey, check all this out at popcorn.org and at costellocheese.com. Oh, thank you so much, Mark Silverstein. Great ideas. Now we're all ready to have a fantastic 4th of July.